Rose! Only in Rosemont you see a black person verbally assault a white woman and not go to jail for it, huh? <laughs> That's a good one, little Bill. When they first... <laughs> Oh. <laughs> Yo, when they first hit me up and asked me to roast you, I was like, are you sure? He looks done. <laughs> Black joke, didn't see that coming. Everybody give it up for Miss Trunchbull over here wearing her look. <laughs> Wearing her lot lizard outfit, that's very nice. We love an affirmative action, Jeff Bezos. Uh, uh, you look like a Make-A-Wish kid that survived and can't afford to pay back the wish. <laughs> you look like you take practice chair shots to the face. I'm pretty successful at it if you want to get together later. Uh, you sound like the black guy's dick, you just suck. You look like my future baby daddy if I don't get my shit together. <laughs> that hurt us both. Trust me, that would never happen. Okay. Liz is a bartender, which means the more shots you take, the more she doesn't look like John Goodman with a wig on. You look like Blade if I bought him off Timu. <laughs> but yo, your smile reminds me of one of nature's most beautiful landmarks, the Grand Canyon. Mm. You last one to talk about teeth. Mine are touching, thanks. <laughs> touching and crisscrossing, that's very nice to see. <laughs> Liz has Tyson Fury shoulders. <laughs> you look like you got your start selling bootleg CDs. <laughs> what? <laughs> Too old of a reference. <laughs> Your knees look like Briar or like when he was bald. I don't know that what was stupid. You look like your mom drove you here. You look like if Sarah Huckabee was a Democrat. <laughs> I also don't know who that is. You look like you were kicked out of DeVry online for selling Reggie weed. Hilarious. Liz describes herself as well fed. AJ runs a comedy page called Ford Comedy. Much like the company, his work is cheap and unreliable. Did you just call me AJ? You're not my family, that, bitch. Oh, my bad. Wait, wait, what? Liz has a pussy Trump wouldn't touch? No, too many black guys. Too many have been in there. No. What, what more? Okay. Uh, yo, you look like DMX after the crack. Liz gonna be on a dating show called Love on the Spectrum. It's all in the face. It's all, in... all right, give you it up for these two. Yeah, you guys had a rapid fire roast there. I'm gonna need to borrow. Sorry, your microphone. Sorry, Alan. There we go. I'm leaving that there for panel. <laughs> we'll share if you got something to say. I uh, uh, give it give it up for these two, you guys. That was a fun one. A little tip for tell with the look like jokes. All right, who's got the microphone in there? Let's do it, Conrad. What are we thinking? I think both of you guys are just ahead of your time. Um, I think you guys are gonna really hit your stride by the time Peyton loses both feet. It's, it's getting it's getting not funny, buddy. Oh, you just wait till I've done it the fifth time. Um, I think it was a great battle. I think but it's great to see both big and tall on stage. You know, it's fun. That's the store that both of you guys shop at. Ha 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 ha. Honestly, I think, uh, I think fucking, I think Alan was more consistent the whole time. Liz came out with some crazy, crazy shit. Uh, but then for the rest of the thing, it was more consistent. So Alan takes it. All right, one for Alan. John Diaz. Yeah, good job, guys. Back and forth, a lot of sexual tension between the two of you, so that was good. I, I felt it. I thought that was nice. Uh, but, but a lot of that was brutal, though. Like, holy hell. Um, I was counting punchlines. That's what I was doing to keep it fair. I'm gonna give it to Liz, but it was close. It was very, very close. Okay. One for Liz, one for Alan. Okay, it's me. Um, well, honestly, shout out to you guys. You guys are representing like every couple in Jacksonville, Florida right now. <laughs> I love it. So that's great. Um, 
I also was keeping tally because that's like the only way this works. Um, uh, the only thing that drove me crazy was that every, almost every joke started with "You look like," like Jesus fucking Christ. Um, but <laughs> the crowd's like, yeah. <laughs> but aside from that, um, very very close, very tight. I think I'll give it to Alan. Oh yeah. That's your name, yeah. 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 Go ahead, ultimately. Alan. Yes, Alan Ford. <laughs> Same ready. Wow, Liz, uh, I swear to God, I almost wore the same thing. <laughs> Holy cow. I'm sorry, we probably wear around the same size. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Um, anyway, Alan, let's see if this works. <laughs> Alan, you look like you always smell in a fart. Okay. Uh, <laughs> I thought if I, I thought if I said it like a like a black guy, it'd be funny. What's that? Someone oh. bump this guy's mic. Yeah, I'll bump your mic when I lose the weight. How about that? Um, but yeah, this was this was really good. Um, yeah, I don't know. I think uh, Liz, you just straight up like first joke was like, "Hey everybody, Alan is black." That was like your first joke. <laughs> You're like, they told me to roast him. Too bad his skin is dark. I was like, Jesus Christ. Um, now I repeat it. Now it's offensive, but anyway. Um, but yeah, I, uh, Alan, you you were you kept you kept your own up there. I thought it was pretty great, but I'm giving this uh, to Liz. Whoa. Yeah. Okay. Chris Rico, our tiebreaker. Yep. Nice. I think they should switch voices. <laughs> Uh, yeah, dude, the Sarah Huckabee thing was hilarious. Uh, Liz, your comebacks were amazing. Um, even though you're dressed like Tinkerbell and shaped like the Liberty Bell. <laughs> it's all right. Am I going for this? <laughs> that joke was almost mean enough to give you the vote. Yeah, that was wild. You know, I think. I think I am. You know what? She got the biggest pops. I'm going to give it with Liz. Right up top was the funniest part of the whole thing. So okay. just my ball. Very good job, you two. Another battle that filled in at the last moment, so please make some extra noise for them, okay? Yes. They had five days to write those, and those were rapid fire, so please give it up for them and get the fuck off the stage. Thank you so much. Liz is our winner. All right. How are you feeling about the battle tonight? I feel good, you know, even though this guy had the deciding vote, so. I'm sorry, I did vote against you. I'm sorry. It may have been because I was extremely mean to the body type of his opponent. But also, I did think she was really, really hot up top. You were more consistent throughout. Um, when you, you've judged here before, when you're judging, what are the things that you value as a judge in a Rose battle? Uh, I value the, the quick punchline, the wittiness, and I kind of like the ones who don't really read their notes, pretty much. That shows that you came prepared and all that. Which she do, she was on her notepad quite a lot. Um, you also were good at battling, dude. How many battles have you done now? I think this is like the seventh one. Yes, uh, I think I've lost to two white people. I'm sorry. They don't they? They've had better battles. You know, one was a Houdini, Houdini the Harry one when he pulled out the note. Oh, he did. Harry did get that. One. I remember that one. And the other ones were good battles. You know, I didn't lose to anybody I didn't deserve to lose to. So I just take that. Yes. Also, she was the closest thing to a black guy by her voice. So you didn't, re you, you know, at least you lost to, ha lost to half a black person. This makes me want to go home and do push-ups and lift some weight so my voice can get a little bit deeper because I do sound like the white guy she beat up yeah. before she came here. Yeah, yes. sure. I do like that. Uh, who you got in your, your sights for someone that you want to battle next? Uh, either Stephen Black, my guy, or Melvin Stewart. Nice. Two also white blacks. So I like, I like that. It's a pleasure talking with you all. As always, a pleasure to have you on the fucking on the show. Let's actually talk to Liz if she's available. I want to talk to her because she killed, man. Liz, place it with me this way. Oh my God! Welcome to the show, Liz. How are you feeling after that bout? <laughs> really good. Yeah. This is your third. It is my third. The other two were both Melvin. Yes. This is your third black guy. Visually defying stereotypes here. I'm kidding. I mean, you won all of them, and you won against like a veteran. I mean, you know, this guy's done it a million times. Alan has. I I actually didn't know that. I creeped on his Instagram for kind of like the whole five days to see what I could find out about him and like what weaknesses I could use against him. Yeah. And I watched a few of his battles, but I could only find like three of them. Yeah, his Instagram kind of sucks. It's really low resolution, 
Shit. And then you meet him and he's the funniest guy ever. You're like, what the fuck? You look like an old man online. What is going on? Yeah. yeah. I was looking at his videos and he tends to lack comebacks, but he's incredibly creative. And so I tried to just blow him out of the water with just sheer volume. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. In the most white woman way possible, that is the way forward. More volume. No, that was true. Th and here's the thing. I think you really did get him with comebacks. I mean, okay. that was one way that you were so strong and I think is the reason ultimately that you fucking, you ended up being with the winner. Uh, you ended up being the winner. Um, you Are you thinking about like doing the show more now? Yeah, this was your third time, but this was a time to show you had a little bit of flexibility. It's not just Melvin. Now you're going against other people and you're succeeding in that round. Does it make you feel comfortable maybe going against somebody else? Um, yeah, I mean, I do have a roast battle scheduled for the end of September against Victor Paredes, but all the roast battles I have done so far was somebody hitting me up and being like, yo, do you want to battle me? Or like, yo, I need a fill-in. Or like, yo, I really want to do this, but nobody will be my opponent. Will you just do it just to help me out? <laughs> so I, I didn't really think to go this route, to be honest. Um, I fell into this, but it's really fun. I grew up with three brothers. This has kind of always been a part of my life. Um, well, we'd love to have you.